hi, uh, this is me, and that's you, just so we have that straight. Sorry, I didn't plan this at all, so uh, I'm just playing around with my new droid, and I thought it would be fun to try to uh, just do a spontaneous poetry reading right on the thing and see how it sounds. And uh, since we're reading some things from William Butler Yeats uh, in uh, my British literature class, I thought that we could do uh, Adam's Curse, um, maybe a little too deep for just a, a little quick spontaneous recording. The Wild Swans is cool. That's cool, uh, but not right now. In memory of Robert, uh, Major Robert Gregory, frankly, if you didn't know the guy, it's really not worth it. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, if you like that poem, I'm sorry. Damn purist. Uh, the Second Coming. Let's do The Second Coming. No, we don't have time to wait for that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Lita and the Swan. I don't even know that. Sailing to Byzantium. Again, who has time? All right, well, let's, let's do this. This is a poem that Yeats wrote about his work in the theater. Um, and it kind of reminds me of some of the poetry work as well. When, at least the editing part for me later when you're trying to polish it down and you know this one particular word is the completely wrong word and you can't find the right one. It's called The Fascination of What's Difficult. And the first line, surprisingly, goes like this. The fascination of what's difficult has dried the sap out of my veins and rents spontaneous joy and natural content out of my heart. There's something ails our cult that must, as if it had not holy blood, nor on Olympus leaped from cloud to cloud, shiver under the lash, strain, sweat, and jolt as though it dragged road metal, my curse on plays that have to be set up in fifty ways, on the day's war with every knave and dolt, theater business, management of men, I swear before the dawn comes round again, I'll find the stable, pull out the bolt. Ah, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of William Butler Yeats on the droid.